guys and welcome back to my channel also welcome to all of my new subscribers because there have been quite a few lately hi i am here to entertain you make you laugh hopefully i don't know share some luxury with you share some makeup tips with you and just go through life together have fun today's video as you could probably see from the title is a comparison between the chanel double flop in double flop yes it's a flop it's a flop. Today's video is going to be a comparison between the Chanel double flap in the jumbo size and in the maxi size. That's one of the like one of the main questions I get all the time is which size would you prefer as like a first size or which which one should you get? If you can just get one Chanel bag, which size is the best one to get? So I'm here at your service, gonna try to tell you all of my thoughts on both sizes and and obviously I hope it's somewhat helpful for you guys. So let's get into it. I'm first gonna show them to you side by side. I started filming in daylight but it got so dark that I had to turn on my lights. Um, I hope that you can see that on camera as well. Uh, I'm gonna describe what I see in real life. In real life, the jumbo, which by the way, I forgot to mention, I've had the jumbo one for two months and the maxi for two years. So what I've noticed is that the jumbo, also when I went to buy it, I kind of like, I kind of startled because if you see, I hope that you can see, the maxi has, um, has the leather has like worn in it looks nice it has absorbed all kinds of oils from my hands i know it sounds gross but you know what i mean it has it's become really shiny and nice and it's worked in and it, and it looks really glossy and stunning whereas the jumbo looks dull to say the least i'm gonna i'm gonna do it like that do you know what i mean you see the grains a lot more it has not really lived into its life. It's not in its prime of its life, whereas the Maxi feels like a lot softer, a lot smooshier. It has it has been worn, it has been loved. Whereas this one is like, hi, I'm a baby face. I've got no pimples and my skin is perfect. That's the kind of person that is. Uh, if your skin is perfect, by the way, then I'm jealous. I'm not making fun of you. Just FYI, so that people don't get pissed. Um, so yeah, this one, is still young and free and young and free at heart. I'm gonna put it there for a second. I'm gonna start with the maxi one because this is the first one that I uh, purchased and my thoughts on it. First of all, it's a big bag. Um, if you hear about people talking about lambskin being so soft and, and nice, sorry, but this feels really nice as well. It's a different kind of soft because obviously it has it's like a lot uh, more durable. It feels sturdier in a good way. You can wear it like this on your shoulder, like so. Or you can wear it like a lot longer. The pros of this bag is first of all the size. The size has uh, a few advantages as well. Firstly, that is the main reason why I got it is that the sales associate pretty much talked me into it. I was trying to debate whether to get the jumbo or the maxi one. Hell, at that moment, I did not know that I could like afford a jumbo in the near future. I thought that this one would be like the one and only Chanel of mine for like 30 years. Um, so I, I was really, really debating super hard. It was not like I thought like, oh yeah, but I'll, you know, two months I'm gonna buy a jumbo anyway. So whatever, I don't care. Give me just one. The reason I got this one eventually was that the sales associate pretty much uh, told me, and she had a point, is that you see maxis a lot, lot less. Um, firstly, it is not it is not such a mainstream size. Uh, not everyone can pull that off either, because if you're very petite, this bag will look a little bit awkward on you. Like, um, uh, by the way, it's not really my opinion in the sense that. Um, if you want to rock a bag, I never look at someone like, oh, this bag is too big for them. But in the sense that, you know, for, for daily use, this bag could look a little bit off on, on, a, on a really small woman. So, you know, the majority of these women look for a smaller bag. You know what I mean? It, will, it looks good on a lot of sm like shorter women. I have seen that, you know, on Instagram and in real life as well. But not a lot of people grab that bag. So 
what you get is that this bag is a lot uh, less mainstream, which is special. Uh, that being said, I don't buy things to be special, but I just, I felt that, you know, this is, this is a factor that I should take advantage of because I'm tall and it would just look really good on me. The second advantage is, of course, the size. It is a humongous bag. It fits a lot of stuff in here. I have some, um, some tissue paper here. This is my 13 inch MacBook and I can put it inside. Look, I'm even leaving some tissue paper in here. I can put my laptop in it and it will close perfectly. My laptop is in here right now, you wouldn't say. It is a bag that is super stylish to take to the office if you don't feel awkward about having a Chanel day in, day out. But how many such stylish handbags are there that can fit a 13 inch MacBook? And you go to a meeting, you just like pull out your laptop and you're like, yes, I'm gonna kick all the guys with ass. But I am anti-arrogance, okay? So don't be arrogant about it, but do it in a very classy way. Then it's, that looks real good. Now the size is also a huge disadvantage of this bag because it, ugh, it gets in the way of stuff all the time. You know, if I'm in a store, I don't really like to, to squeeze my double flaps because I have seen how pointy they can get, especially the single flaps. But if I if I wanna like, let's say I'm in a store and I'm busy with something, look how much, look how, how far back it stretches. So if there are people passing me from behind, they will like bump into my bag or hell, I'm like prone to just kick everything down in a store and I don't really like that. So the size of it is the disadvantage in the sense that it's a big bag. Other thing that you have to take into account when you buy that, if you are a tall person, you won't be able to wear this one crossbody. Like, hello, I'm a ridiculous person. I mean, you can pull that off. And I have done that in like, you know, critical situations when I need my both hands, you can pull that off, but it doesn't look pretty on me. It is also a slightly heavier bag because it's, it is such a huge bag and it has a lot of leather and it has the chains and everything. It is a heavier bag when it's empty. So you have to take this into account. I would say that this is a perfect bag for someone who doesn't have to, who doesn't have to commute awful lot, um, who drives a car. When you get from A to B with your car that you can store this bag in the car and then take it out and go walk into a meeting or go to the office, you know, that this bag doesn't get that much like actual wear um, because it can get heavy. It can get heavy, especially if you pack it up uh, completely. Um, I, would, I wouldn't feel comfortable taking it to a metro and to buses and stuff uh, just because it is a bigger bag. It's going to get like hits and bruises and stuff. The, the wear that I have seen on it is mostly on the corners that stick out when I'm wearing it. So I inevitably hit things. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. And I don't really like mind that kind of wear, but if you can avoid that with such a bag, obviously I would avoid that. Uh, the issues that I've had with this, because I've mentioned in my, um, did I do a what's in my bag with this one? I'm not, I'm not really that sure, but I think I did. Um, however, this bag did go to repair for, uh, did go to repair twice to Paris and I'm feeling that I might have to go another time as well. So if you want me to talk about the problems that I've had with Chanel, who do you have an hour? Call me, I have a rut to talk about Chanel. These are my thoughts on the maxi size. I hope that I've covered everything. If I haven't, then um, I will hear it from you down below. So here is a jumbo. <laughs> I love that size. Knowing what I know today, I would have first purchased the jumbo and then would have bought the maxi like later in life. But you don't know those things. And I'm happy to have both of those bags. And I most probably won't part with the maxi one because it, it has a special place in my heart. It was my first Chanel handbag as well. So but that being said, the Chambo is a perfect size to fit all of your daily necessities and a little bit more because um, yeah, it fits everything. It will fit, uh, for example, a 
the, the Louis Vuitton pochette like this. That's the one that comes with the Neverfold. A great way to compartmentalize your bag so that, you know, if you want to have things separately so that your bag doesn't get dirty, perfect for that. The, the double straps, they fall a lot lower than, than this one does. It looks really cute. It's not as big, it doesn't get in the way as easily as the Maxi does. This bag is a lot more like, I don't know. I, I would always tell you to go for the Jumbo over the Maxi and then think about the Maxi because personally, for me, I am getting a lot more use of the Jumbo than from the Maxi. Um, the strap is a lot handier on this one. I can wear it crossbody. The maxi is too short for that. That being said though, if you are a shorter gal, this crossbody strap can be a little too long, but there are ways to get around that. You can uh, tie the, um, the chain here and make it shorter. I wouldn't worry about it that much, but if you just take the, the original length of the strap, then for shorter girls, it can kind of like hang a little too low to, um, uh, for my liking. You know, it really depends. I'm just giving you my facts. I'm gonna show this one and the maxi side by side on me and I'm five foot 12, 11 or 12. Does it mean I'm six? Oh my God, I'm a Jedi. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm 180 centimeters. That should, you know, you convert it yourself. So when you wear them crossbody, you can see that. Hello. Do I even need to explain this? I mean, you can see how ridiculous it looks. Imagine me going to the city like this, like being like, hello there, the bigger bag is for my laptop and the smaller one is for my purse. You can see that the maxi comes like a lot higher than the jumbo does. Can you say it? Can you say it? And then when I do the a little bit of uh, striptease because more likes. Hello. The maxi comes a lot higher than the jumbo does. The jumbo lies a lot, lot lower. So yeah, you can rest your arm on the maxi ones. If this is something you're in for, an armrest, there you go, a very expensive one. Whereas the jumbo has this, I don't know, that very chill place to hang. I'm 1 meter 80, so you can understand my concern for all you little people out there. I'm so sorry for you guys. You know what I mean. So, yeah, as I said, you will have to do a few tricks in, uh, to shorten the, the strap, but that's not that difficult at all. So, let's get back into the review. Uh, that should give you a reference. I don't know why I keep on showing this bag. It's kind of like, hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah, so the maxi will fit uh, stuff that you probably won't even need. And this one will fit exactly all of that you need and just like a little bit more. Does that make any sense? Uh, now, this one will fit an iPad mini without its case uh, or with like a really thin case. When I go out and I take my iPad for my daughter, I always put it in like a child protection sleeve and this is a little bit larger so I will have to use my Maxi to put that in there. But um, for your personal use, an iPad mini will fit in here, that's no problem. If you have put money aside and you're like, I wanna, I wanna get my first Chanel handbag, take a jumbo. You can wear it uh, in the mornings, in the evenings, during the day, at night. If you get a maxi one, um, it's guaranteed that you're going to leave it aside um, a lot more times than you would a jumbo. If you get a smaller size, then you won't be able to maybe use it as much as you would a jumbo, especially if you have a working life and you want to take stuff with you, you know? Um, Cause I grab with my, you know, I grab my perfume with me, uh, hand cream with me, Kleenexes, wallet, um, uh, keys. I, I even fit my vlogging camera here. It fits so much and it still looks like a really, stylish bag. It's also really nice when you grab it like this. It's it's not a clutch black bag obviously, but it looks really stylish, you know? And 
I don't know. I'm, I'm a huge pro jumbo person. I don't know. Chanel should make a little badge for me. Pro jumbo! If you're looking at the 2.55s, which are the reissue ones, the size is just, you know, they have, they have it in that size as well. I just love that size so much. I think I was all over the place and I'm a little bit biased, but I would go for the jumbo any time of the day. Like I would advise you to get a jumbo and then you get to really know uh, the Chanel bags and then you can see from there. I really hope that this video was a little bit helpful. I hope that I wasn't too all over the place, but it's very hard to compare two bags that are very similar and I think that the advantages and disadvantages just go down to size and weight and uh, functionality. <sighs> okay, so you know how I am. If you've been here for a while, you know how I am. I have like, you know, uh, verbal diarrhea and everything. If even regardless of that, you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to click the thumbs up and tune in for my next video because I post every week. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.